So now we're jumping on devcenter.heroku.com articles deploying Python. Um, you could also just type out Django Heroku, and I believe that will actually come up. It's getting started with Heroku on, with Python. Nope. Deploying Python and Django apps. Yes, that's the one that we actually want. Um, so we can go here step by step to have all of these things working. Um, notice it's, it talks about various things that have to be installed. We've already done these things, um, so we don't have to worry about that. Their overview, the requirements.txt, that is that same file that we were working with here, but we need to make sure that we have our own in our app as well. But I want to just quickly look at what's going on with them. They have their virtual environment. We already did that. We want to make sure we have our app dependencies. That is something else that we're going to have to add in here. Um, and then we also want to have a proc file. And yeah, so we just need to come down. There's really not a whole lot going on here. So let's go ahead and add in our requirements text. So I'm going to do it one level back where SRC is. And I'll do pip freeze and then requirements txt make sure that's spelled correctly otherwise there will be errors later and i'm gonna do nano proc file if you're on a windows you can actually just go into sublime text and do like create a new file save it as and then if you go into your desktop and it occur you can just write your proc file in here this file will also be in the github repository for the final Heroku um, going live stuff. So it will be on our GitHub repository as well. Now the proc file does not have an extension. It's just proc file, not proc file.txt, but just proc file. And we're gonna do it using something very similar to this. So I'm gonna come in here into that proc file and save this right here. It says G unicorn, G unicorn. And then it's got getting started.wsgi. Now, getting started is not the name of our project. The name of our project is cur. So we're gonna have to change that to being something different. I'm gonna say cur, we'll save that. And now we're gonna build our app and run it locally. So let's just grab this right here, Heroku Local Web. And I'm gonna just type it into my actual um, project here. You see that it says G unicorn command not found. So let's do pip install G unicorn. Seems like that worked. So let's do pip freeze again into requirements.txt. And let's run the local web again. And I ran it and it says no module name cur.wsgi. So let's see what's going on with that. So we've got cur here and our module is wsgi. So that is correct, except the way it's actually written out. So let's actually bring it back and open up that proc file again. And this should be it right here. Let's try src.cur.wsgi and try that again. And we're still getting an error, right? So no module name src. So let's actually change where the proc file location is into our Django project versus inside of the root of the virtual environment. So I'm going to add proc file in and requirements into SRC. I'm going to close out that version of the proc file and open up the other version and then change it back to cur.wsgi and I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to run Heroku local web. I don't see a proc file because it doesn't have one. So we're going to jump into the proc file or I mean the source folder and we're going to run that again. And now it's saying no ENV file found. We'll worry about that in a second but it looks like our, our project is actually running. Um, so let's take a look, let's see where it runs. So it said it, it starts it here, let's try localhost 5000. Um, although our project is saying localhost 5000 here, it's just slightly coming up a little bit different than our other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up on Chrome and we've got site cannot be reached. So let's try 127.0.0 point one eight thousand it's possible that we're getting redirects going on here um oh yeah definitely have redirects because it's redirecting automatically because of how our site works so let's open up our site i'm going to add the folder to this project and again if you've already done this stuff it's okay i'm going to go ahead and open up the src like meaning if you're using 
the other project itself. And I'll save this project as inside of the virtual environment. And that's Cur. That's Sublime project. Okay. So um, let's handle our URL redirect stuff. It's redirecting it to our default redirect URL. So let's go into our settings and change what our default redirect URL is. And right now it's uh, tur.com slash 8,000. Let's try slash 5,000 on both of them. So for the host as well as the redirect URL. And we go into 5,000 now. And there we go. So now our Project X is actually running using the Heroku local web file. Um, we'll have to find out what this no ENV thing is later. Uh, but the rest of it is working. So we actually have our project working and we can do another.com or whatever. And this will actually run as expected. So that's a way to test locally with Heroku's command line interface, which is really nice. Um, so now what we need to do is actually make our project a Git project. And that's something we'll do in the next one. If you have any questions on what we did on running this locally, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.